Welcome back. Before we get to our good friend Tenorio, we want to thank our sponsors. So thank you so much to Fork and Ale House for Be Our Guest. Hope you got that deal. Thank you to the National Hot Rod Association for that really cool car out back. And thank you to a new care And another thank you to the rest of our awesome guests today. Chef Tenorio asks you, Nicole Renee, Fisher's Arts Council, Gals Guide Library, and Animal Protection League. We hope little Bolt got a home there. Tenoria, we started the show by slicing up some bananas on yes. ban uh, National Banana Lovers Day. Yes. And you have given us some secrets to making a delicious banana pudding. Yes. That's what you're doing now? You're stirring up the concoction? Yes, so our custard is done. Okay. It has been in the freezer during this hour, and yep. now I'm going to have you finish folding in this cream. Perfect. I just whipped some heavy cream. Yeah, That okay. just makes it nice and light and yes. fluffy. Yes, if anybody knows in. how to fold it in, it's Ryan, you know? Just, just, gotta, just look gotta at that. fold it in. Yeah. Now we're lining this bake sheet with some little vanilla wafers. Yes, we're lining mm. them with vanilla wafers, and then we're going to do a layer of banana. And if you don't like bananas, you can leave this part out because remember, we mashed some banana into our custard. So that's, that's right. where oh, we're yeah. getting that additional banana flavor. I, I was here and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot's happened since then. A lot has happened. Yeah. Oh. Is this folding okay? Yes, you're doing a great job. So when you fold something like whipped cream in, you don't want to mix aggressively because you have all that nice air in the whipped yeah. cream to make it light and fluffy. Yep. So you were doing a fabulous job of folding there, my Look friend. At like, that. A, like a cloud. Mm -hmm. And Thank if you. you would give me a couple of heaping scoops. Some dollops. Oh, don't be a pansy. Just all over it. Like yeah, go. Okay. Right. Yeah, like give me an aggressive scoop. Yeah, don't yeah. be shy. All right. There we go. That's good. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Got Perfect. It. Check. Get that there. there and we go. I am going to take this mm -hmm. and do a little smoothing action. So this is like a lasagna oh, technique. It kind know? of you is. Layer yeah. It. yeah. You're just gonna layer things. Mm. I've known other people to put other fruit in this as well, like strawberries yeah. would be good, yeah. or blueberries, whatever fruit goes well with Sounds bananas. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I like to keep it nice and pure mm. with yeah. my banana pudding. So do you know who like who who created banana pudding? Do I should know? look into that. Like the history of this. I should. Friends, it would be this, hard to know. I don't know. Like some of these recipes. Yeah. This process is going up on my Instagram mm -hmm. um, today. Okay. And um, maybe when I write my caption, I'll yeah. do a little history Ooh, first. Yeah. You're big into that. Like to, the history of. Yeah. Food that, I yeah. love knowing where it came from mm -hmm. and and yes. how it started because that's kind of how my brain works. Is yeah. I I mm -hmm. wake up and I'm like, mm, that sounds good. Yeah. Let's figure that out. Exactly. Yeah. Which is what makes your cookbook so approachable mm -hmm. is people see that there's recipes with stuff they already have in their kitchen. Yes. yes. You know, maybe just ways they haven't thought about making it before. Yes. And that's what makes it so easy and good. And I've, if you're just tuning in, uh, Tenoria put some lemon juice on those banana slices to preserve, to prevent the oxid yes. oxidization. And notice we did that at the top of the hour yes, and they still look great. Still look lovely. They do. Yeah, you can do that with um, avocados too. Lemons yes. are just apples. Perfect. Apples, avocados, that's right. Bananas. Shout out to lemon juice. Just keeping things preserved. <laughs> All right. Naturally. Okay. Naturally. One more yes. layer here. I like it. And so with banana pudding, mm -hmm. okay, it is the best when it is set overnight. Oh yeah. And the crackers have had time to soften. Get a little soggy. And the yeah. yes, and the flavors mm. have married and just fallen in love with each other. Mm, yes. So <laughs> Thanks to the magic of TV. Oh, look at this. I made one last night. He's got night. one oh perfectly goodness. ready right there. Come for on. us to taste here. I like that the look top is this. just crumbled waste. Yes, so I always keep your crumbs and just give a little spoon. It's, it's a cheap garnish. It really is. Yeah. Let's grab a spoon for Jillian Spoons. as well. Thank you Spoons. very much. Spoons. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we're not going to be shy with this banana pudding. I'm going to move this to okay. center yeah. this here. Yeah. Okay. And make sure you get some custard, some cracker, a and a banana. This, a little bit of that. You want that texture. Um, I want that. I do. Yes. I, I like that the crunchy texture. wafer. Yep. All right, here we go. Mm. Getting in here. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, here we go. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, this bite took me back like oh to my, my youth. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Well Simple. done, buddy. This not too sweet. Perfect flavor. No, mm -hmm. it's not overpoweringly mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah, it's not overwhelming. The vanilla is great. It's like yes. very mm. subtle. Yeah. 
Oh, that is delicious. It's a good balance of sweetness because mm -hmm. we made the custard ourselves mm -hmm. I'm getting instead of the too. boxed yeah. mix. Yeah, this almost so. is kind of like a deconstructed banana cream pie in a way. Almost, yes. yes. Like with the crust on the bottom, or mm -hmm. the crust has moved mm -hmm. its way to the top. That's how it tastes. It is yeah. so delicious. Fluffy. How can people, I know you talked about posting, how can people get this recipe? Yes, this recipe will be on my mm. website by the end of the day tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me a day, y'all. You Give should really do this for a living, you know. I know. We uh, mean. Wow. I'm so happy. Mm. I'm so happy. That is incredible. <laughs> oh, hi, crew. Yeah, Come on like, in. Somebody Y'all need spoons. Food? Yeah. I don't Pro have tip. the extra spoons. Pro you tip, need use spoons. the wafer as the utensil. Oh, well, yes. you can use the wafer to dip. Yeah, you can yeah. use the wafer to that's, dip. That's oh, kind of genius. Perfect. That's I kind of genius. Go in. See, this is why I had to make one ahead. Because I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. I had no doubt. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Isn't that it great? Is awesome. yeah. It's the perfect dip. You could make this for a party. So tasty. That's true. Put these little crackers Just make all banana pudding dip and use or, the wafer. Yeah. Or hire Tenoria because she does private parties oh, as well. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Tenoriastable.com. <laughs> yes. That's all of her socials. One and two R's. Yes. We love having you on. Great theme. <laughs> Who yeah, knew that it was, was banana fun. lovers day? Yeah. Mm, I love nice going. Mm -mm, good little Guys, garnish thank there. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yes. Go get this recipe. We'll have more positive local content for you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, Hoosiers. See you tomorrow. Mm.